One of the most difficult things that students face is learning to read and write English, particularly if it is not their first language. I'm John Condon with some pointers on how they might do that. First, reading comes first, and then writing. Good reading begins with good planning on the part of a teacher. That is, introduce your class by telling students what it is you're going to be doing that day. A theme, more vocabulary work, a specific sound you're working on in class. And then prepare your students by words in sentences that they're going to use. And in those sentences, have them sound out the words. A third way is to have you model the sound of the words so that enunciation is uniform among your students, or as uniform as it can be. Next, have your students, without your modeling, read those same sounds and those same words in the sentence. Go a step further. Encourage your students then to read the sentences and uh, repeat the step over and over until they feel comfortable doing it. Finally, suggest your students take a break from reading and at the end of the break, move on to the writing portion. First in the writing, incorporate the words you've just used. Second, have the students put those words into sentences. Third, build on the exercise, suggest the students make their own sentences. And fourth, end the class by having the teams of individual students come forward to show what they've created. This will give them a sense of ownership and a sense of pride. And those are good steps in learning how to read and write English. I'm John Conlon, and those are ideas.